Hey YouTube, I'm Adrian. I am the co-founder here at How To Be A Redhead and we're going to start doing these really cool at-home tutorials. We thought, why not? We do this all the time at home. So we're going to just bring you into our home and show you what we do. Um, we are going to actually, when we're recording this, at the same time, we're going to be doing a Facebook Live. So you will see me commenting on people's questions um, and you can always head to our Facebook page to see it if you wanna see the questions and how I answer too, or we're gonna be just featuring this all on YouTube. And so this is a complete look that I did. Um, I started with bare makeup, nothing, and then I built and I did this in one of our featured products from the June H2 Bar Box. It is a subscription box for redheads, redhead friendly approved products sent right to your doorstep. And one of our featured products is this Thrive Cosmetics in Juliana and I'm wearing it right now, this beautiful eyeliner. So I show redheads how to apply this and what to do. And then other products that are featured is like this Avon product. So I dig in and I'm so excited to share this. We're so excited to be doing this all on YouTube now. So subscribe to our channel and have fun. Hi redheads on YouTube and Facebook Live. We're going to do a complete tutorial on everything in the June H2 bar box. We have an amazing eyeliner that we included. So I've been like dying to do this tutorial. I've been thinking and thinking about it. And so if you see me looking up, we're shooting for YouTube. Um, so I'm just going to dig right in. So as you can see, this is the beautiful June H2 bar box. It's full of products. The value is $95 and the box itself is only $21 and 98 cents. So if you can see, it looks so pretty. Um, I'll go through some of the products right now. So first and foremost, um, we want it to send everyone a free How To Be A Redhead book. So we're giving everyone the option to receive that. So definitely look on your card, give us a five-star review. Oh, thank you about my skin. Um, I should do a whole Facebook Live because I am like so passionate on my skincare routine, but thank you so much. So we will be answering any of your questions. I'll be answering any of your questions and all links about what I talk about will be in here afterwards. Um, and I have a little pimple here, so <laughs> we will talk about how to conceal that and what I do too. All right, um, so yeah, the box itself is worth $95 and we will always include this really fun info card about redhead friendly approved stuff. And so the first product that I really wanted to talk about is, and I'm so excited about, is this Thrive Cosmetics eyeliner in Juliana. And the reason that we loved it is because it's like a plum purple. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Obsessed with it. Um, so we are, you know, Stephanie and I chose this color. We're like redheads are gonna be obsessed with this color. And at first you're like, wait, is this gonna be cool? But it's really cool. So I'm gonna do a tutorial about this in a few seconds. So stay tuned for this. Um, the next thing that's in the box, of course, we have Tressa watercolors. We love this brand. So we have been uh, just loving to feature them all the time. Let's see, if I have any poor connection issues, I'm so sorry. Um, so anyway, we've been featuring these. If you have natural red hair, you're not natural, this color will up your hair color, full size in the How To Be A Redhead shop. So definitely enjoy this. And um, Stephanie has done some tutorials about this color, um, specifically the liquid copper. So if you have any questions about Tressa, you can always head to our social channels. We've done so many about this, so you'll love that. Um, we also had a earthly body miracle oil. Talk about awesome. It is, if you've been washing your hands like a million times a million, then you'll know that this is such an awesome, awesome oil. It's super cool. Um, I've been using it on my hands. I've been using it on my skin and I see such a difference. It truly is a miracle. So you're going to love this. Okay. Let's see if we can move somewhere different, it's saying I'm having connection issues. So sorry about that. Oh, I'm so happy you love your boxes. That makes us so happy. Okay, so we're gonna dig into all of the products that I quickly mentioned, but again, we're gonna be doing a makeup tutorial today. So I just kind of wanted to dig into what everyone's receiving. Um, everyone received this blemish, blemish mask. I actually did it last night because I have a little pimple right here and my skin just changes with the seasons. We know that redheads experience this. So this is definitely gonna come in handy. 
Um, and the reason I love it so much too is like I can kind of just keep it on my skin. I don't have to worry about like over drying or anything. Like the more you keep it on, the better. They recommend 20 minutes. Um, I usually lay it, lay down before I'm sleeping and put it on and I really notice a difference. Um, and then one of the feature products was this Avon full size sunscreen. It is awesome. Look at this full size. And I think the value alone, what is it? The value alone is $34. So what a steal. The box itself is only 21 bucks. So everyone included this. Um, I put it on every morning after my skincare routine. So you will definitely see a difference when you start wearing sunscreen all the time. Like I had to learn how to do. Okay. So um let's talk about skin let's talk about skin and what i do first so this morning i washed my skin i use a konjac sponge to really clean out all my pores and i tone my skin with with something that's like super natural i don't do anything with like alcohol or anything in it and then i do a serum i do a couple serums if i feel like my skin needs it and then i do a lotion so I really am hydrating my skin and then I usually will wait like five, 10 minutes before I put any sunscreen on just to kind of get that all sunken in and then I will put the, the product on. And I've waited to do this video to show you. So my skin has nothing on it right now. And so what I'm gonna use is this Belly Skincare. I love this product. We had it in the April H2 Bar Box. It's one of my staples. So. I love it because it's like a foundation, but it's also a sunscreen. And then I use one of these sponges that's clean. Um, we had one of these in the March H2 Bar Box. So you'll see this. So I just kind of put it all over my skin first. I really want to cover up that little pimple right there. I will put some concealer on it too. Um, and I have a little bit of mascara on just from being outdoors before. So that's fine. And I kind of just put this all over my skin. So yeah, I just put this all over my skin. And uh, it's such a great tinted moisturizer. Um, I feel like it's a tinted moisturizer, it's a sunscreen, but it's tinted because I literally get no breakouts and I just love the way it makes me feel. We had so many subscribers who said that they love it. Um, I love it too, obviously. It's my favorite. So I'll go back in. I love this concealer. We were sent this by Smashbox and like as a press thing. It's called Light Cool Peach. I don't know if you can see that. Light Cool Peach. Um, I'm recording for YouTube too. So you can see it's Light Cool Peach Smashbox. I don't know why. I just find it to be like one of the best color concealers I've found. for my redhead skin. I mean, like it just makes everything look so good. Um, just kind of want to hide that little pimple I have down there. Hi. Okay. So that's better. Um, and then what I, I always do before I start doing eye tutorials, is I will cover up the veins that are on my lids. Um, a lot of redheads have this. We have very like veiny lids and I think that this is really a part of a really successful eye makeup routine is getting those covered. Of course, if you wanna rock it, rock it. I just feel like it looks really put together. Um, and again, this is a Smashbox concealer and I love this stuff. They sent it to us as a press thing when they had like all these different concealers come out and I tried it and I was like, oh my God, it literally blends into my skin. Usually concealers are way too dark. Okay, so that's kind of like the base about what I'm gonna do. Okay, so yeah, I'm happy with that. So now what I do is I actually skip, a lot of people would, would think that I would go right to eyeshadows. I actually skip now to my eyebrows. Um, I wanna make sure that my eyebrows are going to blend in with the rest of my makeup and I found that 
blending blending is so important and I wanna just make sure that I'm doing my eyebrows first so that they blend in with the rest of my makeup routine. So this is by Fenty Beauty. Um, I switch up my eyebrow products constantly because I'm constantly trying stuff. This is just something I grabbed. Um, I really love a self-sharpened pencil and I love like the way that I apply it. I just like it. This one's by Fenty Beauty and I don't know the shade of it. Um, it's called Auburn. Um, it's a little dark on the dark side, but you'll see what I do at first. I draw on the line at the bottom. I draw on the line at the bottom, then I kind of like go up. And I kind of like draw on the brow. You can see like the difference. And then I go back in and I fill it in really concentrating on up here. It's kind of like trippy to do this on my phone because I'm used to a mirror. But as you can see, I really want to perfect like where that arch is. Yeah. There we go. I'm gonna move my, I keep saying I'm getting bad connection. So I hope everyone can see this. So yeah, as you can see, I'm really just drawing on that area and then I love to extend the brow. So you can see the difference. Um, and because of quarantine, I have not got my eyebrows done, oops, literally since March. So I've just been tweezing and kind of doing my own thing. The other day, Stephanie made me laugh because she said, you do not need to go get your eyebrows done because she thinks they look the best that they've looked because I've just been like lightly tweezing and not over tweezing. So yeah, again, I just, I, I draw the line on the bottom and then I go down and I concentrate on the top and then I, I love this part. I love to concentrate on this part because this is what shapes the face. And I kind of just play with it. Um, and then this particular product has a little brush. So I'll go back in and brush them. Yeah. There we go. We're filming for YouTube too. So I'm just looking for up here. Okay. So yeah. And then um, I usually like to lock this in with an eyebrow gel. So I'll go, this is a Thrive Cosmetics. Um, it's called Christina. I really love this stuff. And it's lighter. So when I'm working with like a darker pencil, I kind of want to lighten my brows a little bit more. They kind of feel like they're a little too dark. So I'll just like lighten them with this. And I change it up. Sometimes I'll do like a lighter pencil and then I'll lock it in with a darker brow. There we go. Okay, so now I'm gonna do my eye makeup and then as I'm like blending my eyes, I will make it all look like it's connected. Okay, so now I'm gonna get my eye makeup on so it looks like all connected. Sometimes my eyebrows look way too dark if I was just to leave the house like this. Okay, so I use this brow set. Um, it's in our shop. So if you want this brow set, I think it's on sale for like $21 and we'll leave the link in our page. But it has hypoallergenic brushes so that like the brushes don't make your skin break out. And it comes with this really cute patch or this carrier set, which I love. Um, so I actually start right now, I'm going to just put a little bit of powder all over my skin. Um, this is AB skincare and I just, it has SPF, SPF in it too. Even when I'm indoors, I'm putting the sunscreen on because you can never be too safe. And before I start getting the eyeshadow on, I really want to lock this all in. 
Okay. All right. So now I am getting ready to use this Thrive Cosmetics Waterproof Eyeliner in Juliana. But first I'm going to do some eyeshadows. So this is from a brand called Laura Lee. Um, she was some of her products teaser is going to be in the June Deluxe H2 Bar Box shipping this week. So I just love her palette. If you can see it, it's like such a great palette. Um, really, really pretty. So I'm going to go in with, at first I'm going to go in with um, something super light. So I'm gonna probably do this undressed right here for people on Facebook, you can see it. YouTube, you can see this. And I'm just going to go all around like that. I just wanna cover up my veins still. Let's still pop through. And see, it's so good to do the brow because now I'm like blending the brow in with my eyeshadows. Okay, so yeah, that looks really good. And a trick too, I always kind of like have like a clean towel right near me to just kind of dab if I feel, but I'll continue to show you what I do. All right, so this is all good. And then it depends what I feel like, you know, that's kind of why I love like a palette like this because I can kind of just go in and, and be creative. So I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush now and let's do something really fun. I'm gonna do this really pretty gold. It's called A uh, Natural. Just feel like gold looks really pretty with redheads. So I'm just gonna go down here. And honestly, the really cool part about the Juliana eyeshadow or the eye pencil that's in the H2 bar box is you can totally just use it without any eyebrow products like or any eyebrow eyeshadows. It's not even necessary. I'm just doing a whole complete look. So why not? Hi, Lisa. You're beautiful too. Okay. So I'm just going right in. Just working on the lid. Um, and then I'm going to use a smaller brush like this. Again, this is all in, you can get this exact same brush set in the H2 bar box shop. Um, and they're on sale right now for like 21 bucks, which you can't beat for 10 set for 10 whole brushes. Um, I'm using them. So these are not all of them, but they're so beautiful and brushes have really made me break out in the past. So it's really awesome to be able to find this. All right, so then I'm going to do this one right here. It's called Nakey Nakey, which is such a cool name. So here we go. I'm gonna concentrate on the sides. Right up here. Okay. I know, and it looks like kind of scary at first. You're like, what is she doing? As you can see, I'm doing that V. I'm gonna blend. And I'm using all the brush sets that are in the... Oh, there we go, up here. And I'm just gonna concentrate on that B. And blend, blend, blend. I really don't care the way it looks right now. It looks kind of messy but you'll see when it's gonna blend, 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 and it's gonna come out really, really pretty. But I love to line right in here. It makes such a difference when you're doing a smoky eye. And I'm using a really um, 
precise brush right now. And you'll see, I'm just gonna keep blending. And this is kind of like a harder brush to be able to make that line. And now I'm gonna go back in with a softer brush. And just blend. And I think that's like the secret with makeup and especially eyeshadows is just the consistent blending. Get this all blended right here. My phone died right when I was in the middle of this. And I was like, oh my God, not a good place to see. So you start seeing it coming together. Could actually use a little bit more up here. And that crease. Yeah, I love that. And my recommendation too is to really work with your eye color. Um, my eyes are green, so I love to do like a lot of taupes and purples. If you have brown eyes or blue eyes, um, use colors that make you feel good. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back in and blend. And um, I'm gonna go back in and blend with the same undressed. Yeah, you can see. Yeah. Here we go, blending, blending, blending. And really get in that crease um, if you're doing a smoky eye, because it makes your whole eye, as you can see, just pop. Okay, so now I see it really coming together. And I kind of just play around with it. Yeah, so I'm really happy with the way that that's looking. Um, I'm just gonna do a little bit on the bottom because some of it got down there. So I'm just going to blend this too. Thanks, Steph, miss you. All right. Okay, so I really love the way that it's looking with the smokiness. And now I used some of this really cool, this one right here. I already used this, but I'm gonna go back in just to get that sparkle that I want on the lid before I put on the purple, which will look really pretty. And don't be afraid to use a lot, you know? Like I used to be afraid to use a lot of product and now I'm like, oh, it's so worth it. Like it looks so good. Okay, so yeah, I get that really pretty. Yeah, getting really close because this video is gonna be on YouTube too, so. Really pretty. Okay, now let's talk about the product that was in the June H2 Bar Box. Okay, so this is Thrive. And um, one thing I am gonna do actually, looking in the mirror, I'm just gonna add some more concealer right under here because some of the, when the product gets under here, it kind of makes it, your skin look dirty. Um, and again, I just start blending with the concealer. This is just a 
a makeup blender. Um, we had one that was in the March H2 bar box. I love them. And I get right in there just to really make it look not so clean. Right before my phone died, um, in the other tutorial, I was sharing my favorite concealer. Um, this is a concealer I got in a press box from Smashbox, and the color is light, cool peach. I don't even know if you can see it. Um, light, cool peach, light, cool peach. I feel like it's not focusing. Um, but anyway, that's the one I use from Smashbox, and I really love it. As you can see, like it blends right into my skin, and, and it's not too yellow, it's not too pale um it's not too white sometimes it like makes me look whiter and i'm like this is not the concealer for me but i absolutely love it and again i have like this little pimple right here that i'm gonna blend 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 away yeah but yeah they sent it to us as a press box when they were and it with like a hundred different concealers and this was the first one i picked out i was like oh that looks like it'll work well with me and it did um, okay, so now I'm ready for the feature product, which is the amazing eyeliner that was in the March H2 Bar box. I'm obsessed with it. So sometimes black eyeliner can look too black. Sometimes brown is like blah. Like, I don't know. Sometimes I'm like, I can do better than brown. Um, so anyway, this was featured in the June monthly H2 Bar box, which is sold out. July sold out. We're now filling up slots for August. So make sure to head to h2barbox.com. We'll put links in the bio here or in the comment section. And it is an awesome product. Um, it is purple and beautiful. And I kept this color in mind when I was choosing my eyeshadow. So I chose like some taupes and I chose some golds and I just thought that that would look so pretty because my eyes are green. And so now I'm gonna go in and I'm going to put on this up. And it's self sharpened, which is really cool. Oops, that happens. Here, let's get this. You can see it glides on like silk. And I had a little bit of mascara on from before, so that's what you say. And how pretty is that? I mean, it is such a beautiful shade. I'm obsessed with it. It's so beautiful. Yeah, and I go a little bit out. Um, I'm just gonna try to even this. But it is such a stunning color. Like, I'm obsessed with it. And you know what? I usually don't go down here with eyeliner, but I feel the need to today. Like right in the waterline. Just gently, just to kind of bring it all together. Yeah, so pretty. And like I said, it goes on so silky. If you're a June H2 Bar Box subscriber and you receive this, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so now my eyes are done, my eyebrows are done. Um, I'm actually not gonna go too crazy with like a highlighter or a bronzer. I'm just going to use some of this powder. Just kind of get rid of any redness. I do feel like I should get a lip color. I feel like that's the one thing missing. Give me one second. I'm gonna go and pick something really cool. And I'm really sorry if you hear my dog snoring. <laughs> Sam is my basset hound, is snoring right next to me. I couldn't have the heart to tell him to leave. 
So I'm going to mix a few things just to have some fun here on Facebook. Um, first, I am gonna put some mascara on. So you can see the difference with mascara. Mascara is everything for a redhead. Yes, Kathy, we will list all the products I use. We will list um, all of the brushes I used and all of the cool stuff. If you're watching on YouTube right now, we are taking comments live on Facebook and also recording this at the same time. So that's why I'm looking on both screens. Um, but you can see now this mascara is really like lifting everything I did on my lid. Um, it just makes everything look so pretty. I just love this Juliana eyeliner from Thrive Cosmetics. It's so pretty. Does anyone else have trouble talking when they're putting mascara on? It's like such an intimate thing. It's like hard to talk. Okay. All right, now let's have some fun with a lipstick. Why not? Um, we love to feature these products in the monthly H2 bar boxes, the deluxe boxes. We love eyebrow, eyebrow, um, eyebrow. We love lips. We love everything. Okay. So I'm just going to do a really cool lip. I'm going to mix like a pink and a red. Sometimes I just will go right to the red of like I'm going out, but haven't been going out. So let's just, I'm going to dab on some red lightly just to get that base. I know it looks scary, but then I'm going to go back in. Alrighty, so I mixed a red with this just to have a little like summer flare. And I know a lot of redheads are like, wait, you just use pink on your lips and you used purple on your eyeshadow, but it's so worth it. When you do it the right way, it's so worth it. Um, so what I just did was this was a Fenty Beauty in Mademoiselle. It's a really, really beautiful red. Um, perfect for the holidays. I like wore it all holiday season. But when I sometimes it's like too red, I'll mix it with the with the pink or like with the peach. And this one was just studio makeup in Juicy Peach. And I love to mix the colors. And that's it. That'll be my complete look. So again, I'm using products from the June H2 Bar Box. These are products that are redhead friendly approved, sent right to your doorstep. And all of the products that I use will be in the comment sections when we get off of here. And, um, you know, we know that this has been a really crazy time for the world. And I was actually hesitant to even do a Facebook Live because I know that there's so many more imp important matters. And to do this YouTube tutorial is um, very sensitive. So I want to thank you for tuning in and giving me a little bit of joy today. And um, if you have any questions, let us know. But we are just so excited to deliver these products to you. I don't think sometimes our subscribers know, like when we're getting ready and everything's going out the door, we're like, oh my God, they're gonna love this product. And so we put ourselves in the shoes of like when we were really, really young redheads or, you know, even if we were our age right now and receiving products like with something with how to be a redhead, it would just make our lives. So we hope that it's been giving you joy and we we hope that you know we are continuing to add to our e-commerce store so definitely head to shop.howtobearedhead.com and see all of the items that we've been adding to our shop and we thank everyone who's following us so if you have any questions we will definitely be answering them and until next time rock it like a redhead